Hello guys, welcome back to All in Reality. Today we'll be looking into AR Foundation again, uh, as this is the uh, press tutorial on image tracking, which we will be working on uh, using editor remote simulation also, so that you will understand how we can debug everything. And uh, AR Foundation is well known for its image tracking capabilities and free to use and easy to use uh, controls. So we'll be using 2D tracking, 2D image tracking in this. We'll be just showing how we can get started with the AR Foundation samples itself. We need to have 5.0.2 as a AR Foundation package. So that will be enough for this tutorial. So that will be the case. So we have to have 5.0 and we have to have Unity 2022 plus uh, Unity version for using this. And uh, apart from that, we will be like, uh, needing AR Core plugin, AR Core XR plugin, and AR Kit when we are using for iOS. So both are required for this, and uh, those are the two things which you have to import apart from AR Foundation uh, plugin in the package manager. Once those are available, we can get started with uh, our tutorial today. And uh, already we have samples here. We can use any of those things, but I just want to get started uh, fresh so that uh, we don't need to like depend on anything. So we can create a sample scene here, image sample as a starter. And uh, once you create the sample, you need only two components majorly. One is XR uh, origin, which is for AR uh, functionality. And uh, one more thing is AR session, which is required. That also you can take it from XR uh, in create options, you can go to XR and from there you can utilize this, uh, like both things. You can add XR origin and XR session, which is uh, very essential for our uh, XR session management as well as uh, the camera and the origin point of view. So you have to add one script, which is AR track image manager here, you can see. So that is the only thing which we would be requiring because it actually has both things. So we have the image reference library and you have prefab, which will be overlaid on top of the image library related images, right? So those are the two things which are important. And you can see all this description because it is sample already we are using. So serialized library is a library which we will be adding and the images, it will be taking it uh, using the delegates and uh, whenever any image can be added uh, dynamically also. That I'm not covering in this tutorial, but uh, there is a prefab which we are having here, which will be overlaid on top of all the images detected. You can see here, it instantiates the prefab on each detected image. So that is the main thing which uh, we will be doing here. You can add this tracked uh, library, basically. These are the images it is having XR reference image library. So it already has the samples you can see. So it is uh, very straightforward. It's not like Euphoria or any other thing. You have to have a library score and all these things. You just need to take care of uh, the particular image details here, you can see. So it should have more colors and variations and details so that your image can be easily recognized by the AR camera. Yeah, so that is enough. You can see Unity uh, icon also because that is you can use text and you can use icons and your company logos and these things as an image marker. So you can uh, try and experiment with different things and get uh, something which is uh, favorable for you and you can add on few details and everything on the images according to your wish. So now I'm just uh, importing an image and a package which has a prefab of Pokemon uh, Center, Health Center uh, to be precise. So that will give us uh, a prefab which will be overlaid on this image. So I've taken exactly one to one Comparison here, I've taken a photo of this and I'm adding that into the library. You don't need to have any texture types. It is a default image, 2D. And uh, you can drag and drop this image into this library, XR image reference, and specify the size according to your real scale. Otherwise also, right now I'm doing it fresh because I don't know what is the size of this image. It can be anything, but it need to be in one-to-one -one perspective for me. If my image is small, it should be small. If my image is big, it should be big. And uh, here you can take a uh, different size and try to understand in the XR simulation tools. And uh, you can test it, basically. So I'm doing that today. So I am doing it fresh. I don't know anything about the sizes and everything. So we will be testing it out here.
So I have my prefab here, which is Pokemon Health Center. And this is uh, properly available uh, in the prefab folder. I'll add this package also in the like GitHub and I'll provide that. So let, let's run it and see how it is actually working. So this is a simulation, XR simulation. I just need to like uh, tell you this. So uh, we have co covered this in different tutorial, but it is in XR, AR uh, environments, basically XR environments. And uh, you have to enable this to test your image targets in editor only. But this is available only with AR Foundation 5.0.2. Yeah, and uh, if you just open it and run your uh, editor, that is it. You see my Unity image got tracked and it is trackable. Uh, it is a trackable and overlaid with my Pokemon Health Center. You can see here. Yeah, now we have to kind of import more samples. You can go to this XR environment and uh, click on the drop down, install uh, uh, other uh, uh, environments also. So once you click that, it will take a while, but I want to test it in a bigger uh, space, right? So you can uh, choose different environments and try to test this out. You can take any environment and uh, click on the edit button of the like map and uh, you can like edit out the images and everything according to your wish. So I'm choosing billboard sample here. So once you select the billboard sample and uh, go inside that, you will be seeing all the images already available. So you can see here, right? So this is the images and everything we have. So I'm just going to like replace this uh, flower image with the like Pokemon center image. Yeah. So I want to like uh, make sure my application works with one to one scale. So that's it. So this we can test it out here. So my sample uh, is working fine. It is tracking. But the only problem is a scale. So we can try to match it with one to one here. So let's try to apply this billboard city first of all before doing that. And uh, once it is done, we can go ahead and uh, try to change our size and everything and accordingly map the particular uh, image to the overlay what we are doing. So you can do, do it with any kind of uh, things here. You can try click you can try different kind of bigger points on this image so i'm you can see here there is a trackables uh, tracked on my particular environment and this is the pokemon go object you can like kind of do all the kind of manipulations for the augmentable objects which you're doing on your image so it can be any click event it can be anything but i'm just showing it on a sample note with the size and everything, but you can do any kind of manipulations and test your object before going to live application. So here, like we can multiply this. Uh, so you can like uh, do anything on your example, but uh, I found out it is uh, 6.7. I have to multiply with so that my object size will be proper. We can scale and like play around with. So that is fine. So you can see here the sample is like exactly one to one scale and uh, that's it. So I can apply this to my prefab now and uh, go and test this particular uh, sample again before like building it to the application. This is the benefit we are getting here in the simulation tools. We can test it before going to application so that everything will work very fine and uh, we don't have any problems in the scale and size and all the trigger points and any kind of uh, manipulations. Yeah, you can see here my image is exactly tracking and it is one to one uh, available in this particular banner. So that is it. So let's try to test this in the device. Let's try to build it and uh, we'll test this. And uh, thanks so much for watching till the end. So we'll be covering in the next sample how we can do different kind of manipulations using image targets and all these things. But this is just to get start. We are just doing a sample uh, particular tutorial on the XR simulation tools also. Thank you so much for watching and uh, our application is working uh, very fine. You can see here and uh, I'll meet you in the next tutorial.